I was laid off a few weeks back. Life has spread my cheeks and rammed giant cock and ass. Yes, I've been watching reruns of Spartacus since I was fired. What else is there to do between sending resumes and jerking off, right? Can't even get my foot in the door. FML. I've hit rock bottom. Unfortunately, that's me. There's a little bright side to my story. Very little. Casey, my childhood best friend, came through. It's funny how in desperate times we can face our fears and try to right our wrongs. I mean, I was the one to cut contact with Casey, and now I'm asking him for a favor. I wonder if it'll be awkward, or, or if we'll just you know, pick up from where we left off. Shit, where'd I put it? I hope it's with my luggage. Hey, you've reached the voicemail box office of Casey Can for social media press one, video productions two, real estate three. All friends, please hold and leave a message at the beep. And always remember, you can find Social Casey on Twitter, Facebook, Foursquare, and always socialcasey.com. Showcase yourself. Ugh, some things never change. Mail, motherfucker! Thanks, Foursquare. Now I know Casey's a brute awakening. Excuse me, sir. I'm so sorry to, to ask, but... You know what? Never mind. I'm sorry to trouble you. Wait, what's wrong? My car broke down like half a mile back, and I'm looking for $10 to get some gas in my tank. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm broke. Fuck! I'm sorry, man. I just, I'm in a real shithole right now. Aren't we both? Can I use your phone? Maybe I can find a ride. Asshole. Yo, Sincere, uh, hook me up with a dub. Yeah, yeah, I got the money, man. Uh, no, 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 that's a lie. We squashed that shit with a blow jay. Yeah. Look, you can give me a ride? Yeah, I'll get you gas money. Hey, man, can I get my phone back? Yeah, I'll call you back. I haven't found a ride yet. Don't bullshit me. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese, motherfucker! Fuck!
Oh, get over here, man. It's so good to see you. You haven't changed a bit. <laughs> Then, uh, where were you, huh? Oh, you, were, you were supposed to pick me up. Waiting for you, dude. I called you like five minutes ago. I was worried. Really? Because I've been calling you for over an hour, and now a bum has my phone. <laughs> oh, fuck your life. Stop being so antisocial and join us. And this is my best bud, Roland. We go way back. I've known him since before his balls dropped. Roland M. She doesn't shake hands. It's an OCD or somewhere shit. She even jerks me off with one of those neon yellow kitchen makers. <laughs> oh, you wish. You know how much I hate hand jobs. Well, it's, uh, it's very nice to meet you. Likewise. I already know so much about you. Uh, oh. Good things, I hope. Yeah, he said you were a Wall Street whiz and you guys were really close growing up. I had to Facebook stalk you to see if you were anything like Casey. Arg, shiver me timbers. I, I feel honored. <laughs> Uh, what has Casey told you about me? Uh, well, I, I haven't really talked to Casey until now, so... He's a total dickhole, but I forgive him for it. Listen, Miranda, this is the game plan tonight. We're going out and getting our booze and high on so he can come back all complicated, dude. Uh, who's your friend with the, uh, the tight ass? Oh, Temp! Bring her! I am not whoring out my friends. Just Besides, a BJ shit! You're an asshole. I have a date. Now, stay still, because I'm almost done. <laughs> a date? Fine, we'll make it a guy's night then. Ow! Done. It's great. I gotta go. I have to update my blog. So, uh, what's up with the outfit? Dude, listen. I am a social media guru on the side, and business is banging right now, dude. Because of this campaign I'm leading, these obese kids, instead of eating candy and playing video games with their friends, they'll bring them down to Pirate Haven Mini Golf. Dude, haven't you seen the commercial? Come mark some balls with your captain. Dude, they've had an 11% revenue increase since I started marketing the place a year ago. Dude, join me in my enterprise, young Jedi. I think I'll just find a regular job. Got a regular job where you dangle from your boss's nuts, I'm holding onto a pubic hair for dear life? Fuck no. If this depression's taught you anything, you have to rely on yourself. I thought you came down here to start a business with me. Like, you know, we did in Magahi's class? Yeah, I think, I, I'm pretty sure I just needed a place to crash. You know, once I find a job, I'll be out of your hair. All right, well, just think about it, okay? I mean, at least you came to me for a place. <laughs> well, I feel like an asshole, but you were my third choice. Actually, he was my last resort. I love Casey and all, but he only brings me misery. I can't imagine we're gonna be living together. I need to find a job and move out fast. Yeah, I didn't I didn't want to go back and live with my parents. And and then I thought of moving in with my old coworker Phil. Really, you son of a bitch, then why didn't you then? He killed himself. Oh, you're fucking with me, right? So why'd you kill himself? Ah, Dirk. Dirk Swede. Swede like the jacket, actor and model. So, why'd he kill himself? You, uh, you know this guy? Yeah, it's Dirk. Dirk Swede. Swede like the jacket. He is an actor and a model, and he is amazing at it, if I might add. In our line of work, our paths have always crossed. Uh, strike a pose for him, Bullet! Bullets? He's in character, dude. He's playing a ruthless vigilante, hellbent on ridding the world of crackheads and shit. Why does he sound like Clint Eastwood? I don't know. What do you expect a, a, a gritty guy that averages 20 kills a day to sound like? Trust me, man. The script, it's phenomenal. Every kill comes with a twist and a one-liner that brings the, the 90s to the 10s. It, it's the 10s, right? I think it's like 010, like 09. Mm, it's, it's 2010s, but that's just too long. Turns out I did recognize the guy. He was in an indie called King of the Boulevard. Not a bad movie either. Guess you all forgot. I'm Charles in charge and you're all a bunch of buddy lambics. I think I've seen enough. You're gonna be a star someday. Are you kidding me? He already is a star. Popped out of the vagina, a local celebrity. One of a kind, like like Daniel Day-Lewis. 
like, look, he even has his own entourage. So, are you gonna tell me how he offed himself? You know, you can tell a lot by how a guy kills himself. Much different than if he took someone else's life, if you ask me, but hey, it's a living. Well, come on, asshole! All right, chill. He jumped out of his office window. What? Yeah. Yeah, he was, he was a dreamer, an artist. The, the culmination of the third act, beautiful choice. Life's too good to commit suicide, but if I did, I would paint a canvas with it. I mean, I would add color to the dull methods of the depressed. Fuck it, right? I would, I would jump off a building and shoot myself in the head halfway down. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what if you slit your wrist before you jumped? That would make it viral as fuck, man. You could videotape the whole thing. A cameraman on top, one on the bottom. Wide angle in the helicopter if you have the budget. Fuck it, why not? You could blow all your money off, but that's the case. Yeah, a full camera crew with the works. And I'll have a noose around my neck made of bungee cord. That way I can get the effect of crashing into the asphalt. And a few minutes later, I'll be hanging by the neck. Sometime in between, pop, shoot myself in the head. God. It would be epic. Ah, true fucking artist! <sighs> I'm out of here. Just stop by to say hi and grab a coca, mocha latte. Nice to meet you, Roland. Gene's gonna hit you up later. Got some ideas I wanna run by you. Really, man? We'll see what Casey can do for you. Well, I have some things I have to take care of. Um, I, yeah, I need a fresh one for the road. Did you want something? Sure, yeah, I'll take a regular coffee. Cool, man. Oh, I mean, you could just run right inside, and if you're going, will you grab me one, too? Asshole. Thanks, dude. your bird. Oh shit, son, will you look at that? Oh my god, we are on the same wavelength, just different frequencies. I mean, you carry it on your neck. <laughs> so, are you gonna join me? Uh, so I think about it. Well, did you? Fuck, man, let, let me sleep on it at least. Fine, I'll ask you first thing in the morning. What are you writing? Oh, my girl, um, my ex, uh, threw out my research. I'm, I'm trying to jot down some notes from memory. I'm pretty much screwed. What's KC, KC, KC? Uh, one of the companies I'm looking into. It seems pretty legit, but I haven't finished my research yet. It looks like KC can cubed, or, or even to the ninth power, if you consider my initials. Holy smokes, I'll buy some shares in there. You can't just do it. Oh, dude, I trust you, Robro. You know your shit. I think you should start a blog about it. <laughs> Hell no. So, um, what's up with you and Miranda? Yeah, she's my ex. Really? What happened? Uh, I fucked up. Now we're just friends. That's cool. She's the one, though. The, the, the great, uh, what are they using? The great White Buffalo. Great White Buffalo, that's it. Now, dude, tonight we're going out and you are getting plastered. Dude, th that's a serious case of displacement. Yeah, I know, right? That piece of paper was displaced from your hand back to nature. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Dude, listen, Miranda's bringing her friends tonight, and you are gonna have a fun fucking time. And I'm on this anti-drinking thing again, so I won't be a part of that. But dude, just forget about your problems for one fucking night. What's there to think about? Is it Jen? Dude, what the fuck happened between you two? Because you didn't tell me when we called. I just saw you change your status to single. I feel like talking about it. 
Damn, this is a nice place. How'd you get it? Get in my business, fuck on. <laughs> I like it raw, so my seed spreads all over. Enjoy the DNA of success. Let's hope it rubs off. So what do you do other than social media? You know, life coaching, media consulting, video, marketing, dabble my nuts in real estate and stocks, which reminds me, don't worry about rent or anything until you get your feet back on the ground. Oh, thanks, Case. I'm sorry if I've been uptight all day. Um, you're a good dude. You've changed a lot since high school. Um, make yourself at home, man. Beer's in the fridge, shitter's on the hall. Tonight we're going out and getting shitty, right? Right. <laughs> hey, uh, who's in that picture? I don't know, some dude. Uh, dude, I'll see you later at the bar, right? All right, man. No, not really. Seemed like you were really into the TV. Yeah, I'm just uh, waiting on some friends. <clears throat> you like movies? Yeah. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Here to pick up chicks? Do I know you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Karma. Roland. Oh, uh, well, I uh, guess I'll see you around. Yeah, probably. Hey, Casey. Hey, what's up, Kay? <laughs> Ugh, shit, man, I fucking hate taking a piss at a bar. Last guy that was in there shit in the urinal. I was like, are you serious, dude? It smells like shit. Pleasant. Hey, guys. Uh, you remember Casey, right? This is my best friend, Roland. He's new in town and looking to have a good time. Hey. I'm Temptress. Temptress, like, uh, economics? Yeah, well, I'm on an anti-alcohol binge again, so first run is on Roland. Uh, give me water or Coke or, or surprise me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh shit! There's Larry. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hide out for a bit. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go have a smoke. Uh, I'll join you. No, dude, I only smoke a lot. Explains why I haven't seen you smoke yet. I don't smoke in the reg. I'm more of a, uh, a social smoker. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe you're right this time. Maybe I do need to kick back and relax a little bit. To run away from my problems just for tonight. What's going on, mate? Mind if I grab one of those? <laughs> so, what do, so what do you do? Corporate law. I don't really pay attention to everything she's saying, but I'm sure she's digging it. We talked about my breakup. I broke up with mine too recently. Seen someone now, but... Not <laughs> I told her how beautiful she was and she thought I was cute and all. You are cute. <laughs> I don't know how we got to talking about sex. She's a freak. Oh, many cocks. I handle them all myself too. I like to know what I'm getting into. 
don't need a minute man. Awesome. This isn't gonna be a bad night after all. I'm gonna fuck her. Hey, have you seen Casey? Uh, yeah, he went out for a smoke. Uh, can you check on him for me? Cock block. Okay. Yeah, you know, I just... Casey's been acting kind of weird lately. Fucking asshole, dude. I would have sucked the guy in the wiener if I were you. I should. Lost my whole investment. Big bank, small bank. I don't care a fuck. What about the little guy? What's up, man? Hey. What's up? <laughs> you do it? Oh, dude, what the fuck, dude? This is the asshole! He fucked me so bad, I feel as much as you say bluebirds pluck my butt. Dude. Dude. I, I like meta and I like similes. Helps me explain myself because my English is not perfect. That was disgusting. But very elegant in its delivery. Perfect way to convey your emotions in an unconventional manner. Damn, he got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> What's going on, man? Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Not bad. Uh, I have confidence in your company. Our mutual funds are like a crib for your money. Remember? Listen, Teddy, let's just relax and just talk, okay? Talk? Roland took a shit at my financial dreams. I still smell it all over my body. It's a stupid shit fuck donkey. Listen, Theodore, we both know that's not my fault. My bank fucked me too. Oh, did I walk you? You'll get your money in, in two weeks. Plus interest. How can I trust you? All week I called this fuck. He skipped down, doesn't return my call. You and me, we smoked a bogey together, man. We bonded. I told you about my enterprise and you told me about your woes. Now, I assure you, Roland came here to work for me. He told me about this whole situation. Too weak. You got it. You got it. Yeah. How'd you know I'd be here tonight? Facebook. We are still friends. My bad, dude. I, I wrote it on your wall. Let's go find the girls, dude. Oh, sorry, buddy. You didn't tell me what happened to your phone. Oh yeah, funny, uh, funny fucking story there. Let me tell you all about it. Oh, this part always makes me cry. Me too. I have to hand it to Casey. Night ended somewhat decently. Everything about Temptress was perfect. Hey, the fuck? Whoa! <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I thought you were feeling me. I told you I'm gay, you fucking creep. <sighs> I'm not gonna fuck her. Yeah, I know how some girls can be. I've dated some money-hungry chicks myself. Yeah, I broke with mine too recently. Seeing someone now, but it's not serious. Well, she works at an investment company. Give me your resume and I'll see what I can do. Trust me, if I wasn't a lesbian, I would be attracted to you. <laughs> you are cute. <laughs> do you own, do you own like any stocks? Oh, many stocks. I handle them all myself too. I like to know what I'm getting into. Don't need a middleman. <laughs> What a waste, dude. She has such a tight ass. Ow. I'm gonna check on Temptress. 
lipstick lesbians always throw me for a loop, dude. I never knew Temptress was the gay one. Anyways, I I better get going. I, tomorrow, you're gonna film me and I'm Teddy, right? Yeah, well, where are you going? Home. It's almost one, man. I have work in the morning. What? This isn't your place? Dude, this is just one of my places. Trust me, dude. You're good. Don't worry, dude. You need to loosen up. God. I'll ask you again tomorrow, all right? You like movies? Oh, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, I live here. I guess we're roommates. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. I was, I was just, uh... It's okay. I only saw the tip. I'll see you in the morning. Wow. No playing that one off. <laughs> if this day is any indication of what life is going to be like here, I'd rather have held Phil's hand and jumped off the fucking building with him. <laughs> <laughs>